Okay, I've got a, I think it's a 2001 3010 uh, Kawasaki Mule. Started hearing it knocking and noticed there was oil coming out of the casing. So I took, there's a bolt right there and then a bolt up there that I've taken off. And then I came up here and took the air box off, the hose off, took the, there's a, a rubber hose that goes here for the water. Um, fixing to pull the carburetor off and then I'm gonna take the drive line off and then I'm gonna pull the cover off and see if I've got a crack in the block. Once I get a little bit more done, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, so we think that it's a bad, a bad crank seal. Um, so we're gonna pull the flywheel off, had to go buy the set. Um, where's the number freight? 18 bucks. I got the cover off, which had to take the drive line off which there's a, there's a little carrier bearing there and then there's a little um, holder for the lines that I had to remove to get the carrier bearing to slide over um, that way to where I could pull it out. So, and the cover's off and then we're just now getting started on this. So pull this off and we'll see what the seal looks like. We're gonna tackle pulling the motor out. So last week I showed y'all where I had to Checked the crank seal, um, pulled off the cover, basically same kind of bolts as this. Um, I got a rebuild kit for the carburetor, never done that, so I'll check, see if we can figure that out. So for now, we're gonna pull all of these bolts out all the way around. We're gonna take this off, pull this off, stick it aside, take the exhaust manifold bolts off. There's two there, two here, and then those, and then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get it because of this bar, get it out of here. Then we're gonna separate the transmission, clutch and everything off the motor, um, unhook the motor mount. Okay, um, let me just wrap this video up. I'll just do this as a part one. So, pulled the heads off. Um, cylinder's got a little bit of scratching in it. Um, on this cylinder, there's a little pitting right here, so we'll we'll hone that out. Um, another pit right here, you can kind of see it right there. Um, so we'll hone that out. It's not real deep. Carburetor was bad. Pulled it off. Float had a hole in it. This cylinder here, I wish I'd have got a video of it, but I didn't or at least a picture, but was plumb full of antifreeze. So this head gasket was leaking. Heads look good. Um, pulled out the rocker. Um, super easy, just um, slip ring, slide them out. Um, push rods are good. Um, gonna clean those up. Everything works really good though. Springs are solid. Uh, springs on this one. So this is the one that was actually had the head gasket leak. So I'm going to replace that. Our parts came in. So we have a stator. Um, I bought it from Caltrick. Got this on uh, eBay for like 80, 90 bucks. Um, this is... Oh, water pump. Went ahead and bought a new water pump since I was going to tear into it. I got this off of Amazon. Can't remember how much. 80, 90 bucks. Uh, this. Oh, bought new cables. Our cables are bad. I'll show you those. These are something that I've noticed we've had a lot of problems with. So, went ahead and replaced those. So, I got these new cables. Um, this thing's filthy. You can tell it's been leaking oil for a while. Um, had to pull to get the motor out. This drive line here has a, a bearing on it that's tied to the frame. So I took that off. And then there's another bearing, right, or another bearing holder, or drive line holder. I had to pull it off to slide it over enough to get this drive line out. That was kind of a pain. 
getting this the um, pulley off of the transmission super easy I wish it was the same way for the for the motor had to order a part watched a bunch of YouTube videos with putting water in it and other things didn't do a lick of good so um, it, that's where we are so back over here um, ordered I just didn't want to tear it apart and not fix, fix everything so ordered a new cam and ordered another sprocket so the sprocket and cam I think was 50 bucks or something for all this time found this on Amazon you know how Amazon carburetors can be so I kept the old one if this one doesn't work out, then what I'm going to do is just take the floats out of this and put it back in the factory carburetor. And then here's our full rebuild kit with, um, so we've got our crank seals, we've got our pistons, um, we've got all of our gaskets, and then, um, I'm sorry, these are the rings. Uh, the seals are in here. There's the seal. So, all right, I'm gonna call this part one. Apologize for not like being able to show you every little thing because I don't really have anybody to work the camera, but if you watch the video, you'll definitely have a better understanding. So I'm waiting on that um, tool to remove this. I've tried everything, couldn't get it out. So, um, and then like I said, I'm gonna replace the water pump. First time doing this, feel pretty confident I can tear it apart, put it back together, no problem. So. Hopefully, oh, here's the stator. It's just trashed. And actually, let me show you one more thing before we end this one. Show you the flywheel on this. Wherever I put it. Flywheel is trashed. I'm gonna have to get another one. It's just trashed. And uh, I was wondering why none of the electrical worked very good on this thing, so. Um, Flywheel is $258. So far, the flywheel is the most expensive thing that we've tried to get, that we've ordered for this. So, uh, all right, thanks guys. I'll upload this video and when we get part two, I think Friday that part comes in, we'll, we'll start working on it. I'll try to get somebody to film for me while I work on it. Thanks.